What's up everyone, in this video we are going to be installing the Steeda Clutch Assist Spring for the Focus ST and Focus RS. This is on my Focus ST and the spring that is in there, you can see right there, that's what we're going to be replacing. And the one, the factory spring doesn't feel very linear, it's kind of like it'll be soft and then it'll get stiff and it's just kind of a weird feel when pressing down the clutch pedal so this spring right here was twenty dollars our link where i got it down in the description but the reviews say that it helps a lot with the clutch pedal feel makes it a little bit easier to modulate the clutch and have smooth driving so we're going to go ahead and replace this so the first step is removing the stock spring and we have to remove this whole yellowish white plastic assembly by lifting getting a flathead screwdriver in there then you lift it up and then push in towards the middle of the car so push right and it'll lift out and a little trick that makes it easier to get this out is push the clutch pedal down with one hand and then lift it lift up with the other hand with the screwdriver and move it to the left and it should just pop out or fall out and then we'll just pull that apart and put in the new spring so the stock spring came out very easily it is covered in grease but we're going to pull apart this plastic piece and the spring is probably going to shoot somewhere where i can't find it but we don't need it because it is the stock spring so let's go ahead and open up the steeda clutch assist spring just so you can kind of i'll show you a difference when they're both not inside of that mount and you can actually from the videos and reviews i've seen you should be able to feel a pretty big difference just with your hand with the spring. So it comes with this plastic or aluminum or something, little bushing. And that goes in on this side just like that. And this is, I mean, it's pretty easy to press in with your fingers. So if you feel this one, you can even see the difference. This one's a little bit thinner. This one's thicker. And I can't really push it in just with one hand like I can just a little bit push it in so all you do is grab both of these sides like this and then pull apart so this piece is actually really hard to separate just with your hands so you're gonna need some other way to do it if you have a vise put this big part right here up at the top in the vise and then just pull with some pliers. But what I did was I stuck this piece down inside of here, it's gonna fall apart, but you'll kind of see what I did, was I stuck this piece right here behind here like this, and then I closed this, that fell, but that piece stays in there, and I closed this and held it with my foot like this. <laughs> and then I put pliers around this top part and then just pulled really, really, really hard, and then it eventually popped off. So here are the two springs compared. On the left is the stock spring, and the right is the Steeda spring. The stock spring is actually a little bit longer, and it also is a lot stiffer. So this one is very soft. You can see you can move it with your fingers. This one you can, but it's still pretty stiff. And this one also has this bushing that will this part right here will seat up against this piece here. So we can get rid of that stock spring. And this is how this piece goes. You put the bushing on the bottom and it goes around there and it fits perfectly right in there. And then you take this top piece and it'll go in there and then you just push it back together, which is much easier than separating it. So there you go, that is the new spring. And this is much easier to move. You can move it with your fingers. So now let's put it back into the car and see how much of a difference it makes. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand or not, but it's the same thing. Make sure that this top piece right here is aligned in the direction it needs to be for these to clip in. And then you just snap that piece on there. And that'll stay. I can't do this with one hand. But then you just push it up and lift it into the into there. That hole right there and there. Just like you took it out. And then it'll be done. 
I got the spring installed and I just tested it and it makes, I wouldn't say it makes a huge difference, but it makes a noticeable difference in the pedal feel. It feels a little bit more linear and it's a little bit softer. So it's kind of easier to modulate the uh, clutch, but my clutch has a little bit of play in it, just the pedal. I don't really know what's causing that or if that's on all STs, but I'm going to look into fixing that. But I would definitely recommend this mod. It's only $20. I'm going to link it in the description. You're not going to hurt anything. It's just it'll make your uh, clutch pedal feel a little bit better. But thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.